Thor News presents. All right. 10,000 asteroids. That is correct. I'll give props. When props are due, and props to NASA for their 10,000th near-Earth object found. That is great. Oh, but space weather. Where I found it. Oh, and if you'll notice, they happen to have a picture of the corona hole, the flying bee, that I was talking about in my video earlier. I'll now wait a second to put up a thingy to where you can see that video. This is what I was referring to. Back to the thingy at hand. Okay, great. 10,000 near Earth objects. This is, this is freaking amazing, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's a lot. But the sobering fact that Space Weather points out is the fact that, my God, it may be 10 times that. And remember, the sun and the planets and the giant debris heap that follows them all, like going forward through space and it's traveling through other stuff that wasn't there in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Am I saying that well? I'll try and say it better. Anyway, so yeah, think of like the sun and the asteroids as its, as its harem, okay? It, it, you can flip genders how you want. Asteroids and the sun doesn't have genitalia as far as we know. Although, if we had to pick, I guess the sun would be male because it has at least one ball. Ha <laughs> good one. Excellent. So yeah, 10,000. Congrats, NASA. Man, I would like to get a picture of outer space with the wide zoom lens. Yeah. Okay. Asteroids are giant hunks of rock and metal that are left over unswept into the trash can of the universe. Material from either a star exploding or planets exploding or stuff unexploding or other. Nobody was there. So we do not have an eyewitness account of how all those asteroids got there. I had some ideas though. It's a lot like Christmas in a Walmart parking lot. Lot. You go to a Walmart parking lot on Christmas night when they're closed for like that two hours. The parking lot is just filled with uh, shopping carts. So it's kind of it's what asteroids are. They're kind of like leftover shopping carts. All right. Yeah. 10,000 asteroids. Damn, I've only talked for two minutes. Shopping carts in the universe. And the lucky winner of the 10,000th near Earth object discovered is a little asteroid called 2013 MZ5. MZ5. That's going to be my rapper name if I ever decide to go in to the rap industry. MZ5. Yo, bro. MZ5. Astonisher's number one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they found it. Not gonna come close to Earth. So, even though it's a near-Earth object, it is not a potentially hazardous Earth object. Woot. Kick ass. Finding 10,000 near-Earth objects is significant milestone, said Lindsey Johnson, program executive for NASA's near-Earth object observations. Neo. New. <laughs> New. Program at NASA headquarters. What the? There are at least ten times that many more to be found. We can assured we will have found any, and all that could impact do significant harm to the citizens of Earth. I don't think he talks like that. It would be hard to get to a position of power talking in a way that chopped up the information so much. Okay, great. That was my impression. That's what I was saying, and that impression sucked. I did have two beers before I started making this video, okay? I apologize. I know you shouldn't make videos while two beers in, bro. Okay, I'm gonna read some more. Is that cool with you? Near-Earth objects, NEOs, are asteroids and comets that can approach the Earth's orbital distance to within about 28 million miles. Or, as they like to say over in Europe-ish, 45 million kilometers. What are they speaking meter metric language in Australia, man? They range in size from as small as a few feet to as large as 25 miles. Okay, great. To what? 25 miles? That's it? Okay. Did you know that 98% of all known near-Earth objects were first detected by NASA-supported surveys? No, I didn't know that, man. But yeah, uh, they've spent billions on it, so well, yeah, they probably have, have an advantage. Good job, though, NASA. Congrats, bros. Congrats to the other two presenters. <laughs> Woohoo! Of the 10,000 discoveries, roughly 10% are larger than six-tenths of a monster. Hey, congrats to Amy Mainzer once again. I know she's an asteroid hunter and helped inspire all asteroid hunters. But whatever, man, and congratulations. Hey, hold on a second. I'm eating a donut. Hey, about a week ago, to help them find the other 90% of unbound near-Earth objects, they called some Grand Asteroid Challenge. Well, they challenge everybody. Help them find all those asteroids out there they have not found yet. Which I'm totally down with, man. And you're going to have some Google Chat thingy. Whatever. I'm not good at that crap. But, plus one infinity nasa to spice the pot up if amy mainzer is single you should let the winner of you know the most asteroids the asteroid best asteroid kick-ass idea or whatever to win a date with amy mainzer too crazy too far out there she's already got a boyfriend slash other okay great whatever i'm cool i didn't say i didn't mean to be whatever okay moving on so yeah astonishers assemble i say that we haven't done it yet still gotta get t-shirts or shirts or boots or hats or something okay shucks 
I think it's my haunted video of all time on my channel and I'm going way off the rail. And and nobody's gonna like it. Oh man, I jumped the shark at episode 100, baby. Woohoo. Okay, what I was saying was Grand Asteroid Challenge. I'm in. Think I'm gonna form a team. Think we already call them the Astonishers. We're gonna astonish you mofos. But first of all, yeah, give us common ice and crap, man.